Hi everybody, welcome back to Small Caliber Arms Review. I'm Richard, and since I've been doing this channel, currently I've done almost 200 videos on different firearms. Now there's some videos that I've done, you know, multiples on the same firearm, but I've done a lot of firearms anyways. And probably one of my favorite guns is gonna be this one right here. It's close to being one of my favorites. This is the uh, Taurus Model 942M 22 Magnum 8-shot revolver. And like I said, it's kind of one of my favorites because I really wanted the 2-inch barrel version of this gun, and all I could find at the time was the 3-inch barrel. Well, guess what? I got in this little box right here. Let's get it opened up and check it out. Okay, here's the cardboard box. Taurus, always bring it. Let's open this thing up. You've got your ATF paperwork, lead warning, lifetime warranty on this thing. Uh, you can get, a, there's an offer for a laser sight to go on it, your owner's manual. And there it is. There's the little firearm that we're going to take a look at. It does come with a required obligatory lock. We'll get this out of the way. And we'll get the little revolver out of this noisy plastic bag. I have not fired it, it's brand new. I just opened up the box and there it is. Still got some factory oil on it and everything there. It is unloaded, eight shot, 22 Magnum revolver. A fun little gun, the 942M. Exact same gun as this, except this has a two inch barrel and this one has a three. The reason I wanted the two inch barrel was because when I got the 605, I went ahead and made a leather holster for it and it is the two inch barrel. They are the exact same frames on these guns. It's just this one is made for 357 or 38 specials. And it's a cool little gun. And I thought, well, you know, it'd be pretty nice to have another holster, but instead of making another holster, I just bought another gun. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. But anyways, I really like this one, except that I did not want to make another holster for it. So I went ahead and got the Taurus 942 with the two inch barrel, same eight shot capacity. And the nice thing about a revolver, this fits in there just perfect. The nice thing about a revolver is like this ammo here, this is Hornady 22 mag, 30 grain V Max. I cannot use these in my kel either the CMR or the PMR 30, because the bullet weight is too light. There's not enough recoil to operate the action on it. And these are 40 grain, which is perfect for the kel -Tec. But the nice thing about the revolver is it'll handle any of them. It doesn't matter. It's not reliant on the, the weight of the bullet. The recoil is not needed to operate it. If they made 22 Magnum Calibris, I could put those in here and shoot them. Wouldn't have any problem with it, especially with that little two inch barrel on there. Nice little gun, very nice finish on them. Uh, to kind of a satin stainless steel. And I do have a night sight to go on the front of this thing. Uh, it is not on there. That's the factory sights on there right now. Nice little rubber grip on it. Just a really cool gun. Fits my hand well and I got pretty big hands. I can get two fingers on there solid and there's that little notch cut out the bottom there. That's right where my pinky's gonna sit. And 22 Magnum is not a whole lot of recoil. So managing it with this gun is not a problem. Now, you might be saying to yourself, what's the big advantage of having the two inch barrel over the three inch anyways? I've done a couple other videos on some really short barrel 22 Magnums. One of them was a little NAA revolver in 22 Magnum. And I got a lot of bullet tumbling with that thing with such a tiny barrel. That hole and that one are round. That one, that one, and that one, the bullet tumbled. I also did the uh, standard manufacturing S333 or the Thunderstruck. That's the volley fire with the two 22 Magnum barrels fires two rounds with each pull of the trigger. And there was some bullet tumbling on that thing and a kind of a crazy spread on it too when it shot. You would think with those barrels being, you know, a quarter inch apart or whatever they would, you would hit two rounds that far apart, but it didn't work that way. I think they were like a foot or so difference in the spread. They just kind of went all over the place. Now, this one shot great. I did not experience any bullet tumbling with this one. So I'm kind of curious, is the two inch barrel on this going to experience any bullet tumbling? I hope not. I really like this firearm. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check because I've got a Caldwell ballistic precision chronograph. This is the premium kit with a little light kit on it and everything comes with the tripod, the whole nine yards. I haven't used this thing yet. So I'm going to get it out of the box, get it out there on the range and do a little comparison. Uh, first of all, I'm going to see if there's any bullet tumbling with this thing. And then we're gonna do a comparison between the three inch barrel and the two inch barrel to see 
What the difference in velocity is, we'll fire the same ammo, they're identical guns, the only difference is the barrel length. So will there be that much of a difference between the three inch and the two inch barrel? I don't know, we'll find out. Anyways, I'm gonna get this thing cleaned up and then we're gonna get it out in the range and give it a few shots. All right, everybody, we're out here on the range. I've already got the chronograph set up and I've got the Taurus 942M with the three inch barrel. I've got the one with the two inch barrel. So now we're gonna do a comparison to see what the difference in velocity is between the two barrel lengths. Now I've already taken some test shots with this thing. You'll see that in the uh, Caldwell Ballistic Precision uh, Chronograph video. And these, these uh, rounds clock in at 1875 feet per second according to the manufacturer. That's not out of a three inch barrel or a two inch barrel. It's probably out of a 16 to a 24 inch barrel. But what we're gonna do is see what they come out with, uh, come out at in the three inch barrel and then we're going to do the two inch barrel to see what the comparison is we're also going to see if there's any kind of bullet tumbling i need to go put a new target up there so we can see any of that all right i've got a new target set up and i've just noticed the the clouds it's kind of an overcast day which is good but the clouds are kind of uh, breaking up a little bit to the east so i'm getting some sunshine it's going to change a little bit i hope it doesn't throw my measurements off there with the um, the chronograph because a nice even light source is what you really want to have when you're doing these, uh, when you're using a chronograph because it's, it's an optical sensor in there that picks up on the bullet traveling through the little framework there. So we're going to get uh, eight rounds of this CCI Maxi Mag loaded in here. And I've already got my information set up in there except for the um, distance from the uh, firearm to the chronograph and I think I'll go ahead and adjust that right now. All right, we're going to go ahead and hit the start button on here. And what this is going to do is record my string of shots. And hopefully we'll get good readings with every one of them. I got an error two on one of those. Shot three. Got another error on there. All right, there was my eight shots with the three inch barrel. Let's take a look at those numbers real quick. All right, we got an average speed of 1160.5, uh, standard deviation of 23.1. Uh, minimum was 1124, max was 1186, spread of 62, which is a pretty good bit. Muzzle velocity 1163 is what it's saying on there. So let's go ahead and get this set up now for the two inch barrel version and we'll see how much of a difference there is. All right, all the other settings are the same, the same distance, same bullet, whole nine yards, just a different length barrel. There was the error. And that was my eight shots with the two inch version of this thing. And we'll take a look at that. All right, average speed of 1088. Let's go back to the other one on the three inch barrel. The average speed was 1160. So there is a difference in it, in that one inch barrel. Um, it's still enough to do some serious damage. I mean, that's just on, just in the subsonic range, but still the, the energy that it packs is, uh, let's see what the energy says. Uh, we're looking at about 123.48 foot pounds. At least it was on that last shot there. So um, it's gonna do some damage, whether it's the two inch barrel or the three inch barrel. And the reason I wanted the two inch barrel was a couple different reasons. It's a little easier to conceal. Plus I had already made a holster for the 605, which makes it a good choice. It fits right where I wanna keep it at. Let's put another target up there and check it for bullet tumbling because that was another issue I wanted to find out with this two inch barrel 
Like I said, with the NAA, the North American Arms Revolver in 22 Magnum, there was a lot of bullet tumbling. And with the standard manufacturing Thunderstruck, those had the little short barrels on them, on, on it, and there was some tumbling there too. So we'll put a clean target up there and see what it does. All right, here's the targets I took down from there. Uh, they're both overlapped there. This was the first one from another video. This one, um, they all look pretty round, but we can't trust this. We gotta do another group of them. We'll put a silhouette target and one of these up there, do a little accuracy, which if you ask me, I think dead center right there is pretty accurate, but I don't know which shot that was or which gun that was. So we gotta try it with just the two inch barrel one. All right, now that we've established there is a difference between the two inch barrel and the three inch barrel, now we're gonna see how this does for accuracy and for bullet tumbling. With the two inch barrel, sometimes that happens. So we're gonna take uh, four shots at the little target for accuracy and see how that does. Single action. We'll do five shots anyway. So let's go up there and take a look at that target real quick. Okay, there's my five shot group. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think that's a tumble because most of it is round, but it looks like it's torn a little bit there. Let's do some uh, body shots right here. Maybe do some head shots. I've got three more rounds in there. We'll do three head shots real quick. One, two, three, double action, seven yards. It hit there where it's supposed to hit. Now I have not been able to find an actual speed loader. There are the loading strips that you can get. Those would be more convenient. I've heard of people taking a uh, magazine from a, a bolt action or a semi, -act, semi auto and just kind of using those as a sort of a speed loader anyways. But I really like the type that you uh, drop all eight of them in there, give it a little twist, drop it and let it go. Let's, uh, let's do eight double action rapid fire right there at center mass. It shoots nice. It's kind of a heavy trigger pull, but it's a revolver and I shot it in double action and that's just the way they are. It's not a bad thing though, I can tell you that. It's actually a pretty nice thing. I love that. All right, guys, there it is, the Taurus 942M 22 Magnum 8-shot double-action or single-action revolver. A really nice little gun. I've already got a holster for it, so the 3-inch barrel version might not see a whole lot of love anymore because this one I really like. Thanks for watching Small Caliber Arms Review. If you could, hit this button up here to check out some of my other videos. Hit this button over here to subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching Small Caliber Arms Review.